friends and welcome back to our channel Zazen Tarot Space and today we are going to learn the meaning of the three of swords. Let us take a look at the card here. Very simple card, a heart with three swords piercing through it from three different directions and what do we see in the background? We see clouds, thunderstorm, rain. Friends, a very easy to interpret card in certain ways heartbreak heartache discord acrimony all of these are things are shown here in the three of swords the three is the keyword for which is triangle we had seen that when they are positive it's all about growth it's all about strength stability but here the threes have become very negative and we had also discussed the negativity in our significance of threes video that when threes become negative then it has the potential to divide to split to separate and that is very clearly seen in this card it is cutting through and what is cutting through the sword is cutting through the heart. One thing which is worth noticing here, however, is that even though the three of swords shows a pierced through heart and cloud and rain behind it, which shows uh, removal, absence of some loved one, it shows probably delay, it could show uh, division, dispersion maybe. All these things are represented by the Three of Swords and yet what we see here is a heart. But friends, this is not a cup card. So we are not talking about emotions here. It is a sword card. And we had discussed what swords and the entire sword suit represents. What is the significance of the sword suit in our tarot cards? And there we had discussed that swords is all about thoughts. It is about words. It is further about communication and ideas. So the interesting thing here, friends, is that the Three of Cups, even though it talks about heartbreak, Somewhere or the other, you will see that this heartbreak needn't necessarily be either in an emotional way or else caused due to an emotional reason. Instead, what you will see is that, okay, it could either be an emotional suffering, fine, but caused by something related to this uh, suit of swords. For example, someone has communicated something, used words which were really hurtful and painful and that has caused you pain. Also, it could also represent that someone has either said something or done something which has not really caused emotional pain but it is actually all in the mind. So, sometimes this card can represent that whatever has happened is not really real it is not actually real it is more perceived it is more in the mind it is an idea or a thought so for example misunderstanding somebody's words misunderstanding someone's uh, you know intentions can also be represented by three of swords it can sometimes be a tricky card to understand because yes it does show heartache it does show you know uh, kind of absence of your loved one but then sometimes it could also be more in the mind this card friends three of swords for a woman can also also show the flight of her lover so we have taken an overview of the general meaning of the three of swords now let us look at what other things our three of swords can extend to. We were talking about experiencing heartbreak. 
This can sometimes also represent the other side of it. It can represent causing heartbreak. Yes, when there is heartbreak, it can represent hurting inside. It can represent sometimes news which is unwelcome, hearing something unsettling, or hurting your own feelings or someone else's feelings. Yes, it could also represent uh, emotional pain, suffering emotional pain, uh, or being disappointed. And at the same time, when such a thing happens and the Three of Swords comes in, then there is hardly any solace. There is nobody to console you. Unfortunately, it's a sad situation. This card is also about feeling lonely and being separated and uh, it could either mean feeling lonely uh, in itself or it could mean some situation of heartbreak which has caused feeling loneliness, the feeling of loneliness. And uh, as a result of feeling lonely, you could also be feeling rejected or spurned or, you know, feeling deserted or actually being deserted when you actually needed someone. And uh, if, if you actually look at this card further extending, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, it is seen to mean uh, going away and wandering away from maybe home or someone or somebody. And uh, feeling isolated is also a very, uh, you know, pronounced theme of this card. Feeling isolated from everyone you love or from those around you. Feeling lost. Of course, experiencing betrayal is a very obvious theme. When we say that this is a sword card, then of course it is also about discovering painful truths or feeling let down, actually being let down or being stabbed in the back. And this is also a card of, see we had said sword is about words, so breaking your word, breaking your promise. Either someone else has broken their promise or you have broken your promise, the parent has broken their promise. Yeah, and also this card means sometimes that you place your trust in someone and you realize that the trust was misplaced actually. So uh, the trust is broken, uh, so you have you're feeling let down and it could also represent uh, under such circumstances that you know you are either turned against someone uh, your uh, you know again the sword theme continues here and uh, the mind is actually turned against someone which was probably a pro that person earlier and when once the mind is turned against someone then also the actions are turned against that person so you will no longer want to act in favor of that person so uh, all of these things are represented when the card comes up in a reading uh, the question itself will tell us what the card could mean out of these but uh, it could also mean sometimes that you are so for example it comes in the past position then it could mean sorry future position it could mean that you are contemplating rather than this thing have actually happened you are contemplating of hurting someone or it is about to come up in your life so this is one of the dreaded cards nobody likes to see this card nobody wants this card coming up whether it is upright or it is reversed because in reversal it gets even worse the uh, you know the the heart actually goes deeper into the swords it just kind of sinks deeper on the swords because the swords are now down and the heart is above and it's even worse so uh, that and then when we talk about uh, we have uh, just discussed in the previous video that three of cups and three of swords are opposing cards because three of cups was about companionships and trust and bondings and three of swords the exact opposite is happening in many many areas so trust is broken relationships are being broken companionship is gone you're feeling isolated where three of cups was about teamwork and 
collaborating with people and coming towards people there in the three of swords you're actually isolated so just about every meaning of three of swords is opposite of that of three of cups so these are completely opposing cards uh then when we see the lovers card and the 10 of cups cards we'll see that they are also opposing cards and uh we'll be seeing the five of cups and the nine of swords and the five of pentacles and how they are reinforcing the similar theme of heartache and you know heartbreak and uh loss of love and separation rejection and not feeling supported so these are some of the opposing and reinforcing cards and we will talk about them again as we keep uh, coming up uh, with those videos of uh, the related cards yeah so i hope that the meaning of the three of swords is clear and uh, now we will move on to our next three which is uh, the last three and that is the three of pentacles let us move on to our three of pentacles friends 